So this is a video now looking at the anterior compartment of the uh, lower leg. So we're going to use our skeletal landmarks again here to help us identify where we are. So to start with, we're going to have a look at that most medial aspect. And we can see with the cursor here, the very clear outline of a large bone, which is your tibia uh, at this point. You can always just come down a little bit further just to get your bearings. And we can see here the clearly uh, outlined tibialis anterior. Now, if we keep coming up the leg, this is going to form your, if you like, the left side of your screen in this instance, the medial border. You can see the tibia here on the left. So this is all bone. This is a short axis view. We've now got the tibialis anterior tendon starting to thin out here as it starts to come out into more substantial muscle bulk. Now, if we come a little bit more lateral, at this point we start to see the extensor hallucis longus and the extensor digitorum muscle and tendon. So again, if we come down, we can see EHL here at this point. Now, if we just reduce our depth, it's a bit clearer. Now, be careful with your probe angulation here, but that's EHL. If I get the patient to wiggle their big toe, you can see the muscle belly of EHL here, anterior tibial artery, and just adjacent to it, an interest in finding the deep perineal nerve. If we keep coming up, we start to see the digitorum here just sits slightly more lateral. This is the digitorum tendon starting to thin out. This is EHL. And as we come up, we start to see then the more clear musculature of, these, of this region. So the large tibialis anterior, we've got the anterior artery still sitting deep here. And then we have the EHL and the extensor digitorum here. If we come a little bit further round, we can see another distinct skeletal landmark, which is your fibula. And we then know that if we transition around from that, we're then back into familiar territory with our lateral compartment. And at this point of the lateral lower leg, we can see the formation of the perineus longus muscle. Again, we can still see the skeletal landmark of the fibula, which forms a, a nice border laterally, if you like. So our anterior compartment sits between that spike of the lateral fibula where you've got EHL and extensor digitorum, and then you have more medially before the tibia, we have the large muscle of tibialis anterior, which as it starts to run down, you can see it forms that very large tendon slip within the muscle itself. You could always explore that in long axis as well at that point, come back to short, follow it down, and we'll know that that will then eventually, if we reduce our depth, form that very useful large soft tissue landmark at the front of the shin, which is your tibialis anterior at that point, which you can see very clearly here. And again, we know that adjacent to that is EHL, the tendon is here, and then we're starting to get the formation of the extensor digitorum that bit further laterally.